Well, happy Saturday, and uh, welcome to Hour 2 of Home Wizards. Cindy Dole here, and so glad you're with me, because we'd love to have you here and just talk about ways to have fun. That was the fact that we have an app, and I think, Seth, we can play that now. There it is. You got or something. Anyway, we have all kinds of good stuff to talk about in the next hour. We're going to talk about mainly dad because tomorrow is the big day. And I remember growing up that my dad, who was so generous, would come up with ways to give me another gift, including on Father's Day. So how funny was that? You know, here's a gift. Uh, it's Father's Day. But seriously, we have uh, such special men in our lives. And for those of you dads who are working so hard to support your family and do good things, we want to give you a special uh, pat on the back. And we have some fun things to talk about to to honor dad in the next hour. Uh, like, first of all, we're going to talk with my friends at uh, about.com. I'm sure you've read their articles and you uh, Google them. They have all kinds of solutions for anything from A to Z. Uh, but what do you do for dad who has everything? And uh, we're going to talk with an expert who has some solutions, some things that are less obvious and hopefully not that, you know, that boring tie thing or, you know, tools. I mean, yes, tools are good, but maybe even super cool tools or something else. Ways to really intrigue dad and feel special because, you know, after a while you kind of go, oh, okay, it's that leftover holiday. It's Father's Day, whereas Mother's Day, you know, it's the Tiffany box and everything else, right? So we want to represent. And then a little bit later in the hour, um, I found this really cool website that I'm excited to share with you. Uh, They have all kinds of uh, resources in terms of solutions for repairs around the house. And it's, it's really the genius of a guy who has been in repairs for many, many decades. And so he thought, you know what, I'm going to help people. And so he offers answers to how to fix your washing machine, how to fix your lawnmower, you name it. And you think, oh, can I do it myself? It's kind of scary. Do I dare? But he shows you how to do it, and then you can get the parts to do it. So we're going to figure out that a little bit later on. So before we get to uh, the next guest, I want to encourage you to make sure you go to the website throughout the week. Uh, If you go to cindydole.com, uh, everything's there. If you go to the on-air section, that's where you can listen to shows uh, like last Saturday's and, and hear all those things. And then we'll have today's show up by Monday. Uh, but you can also now get the app. And if you have, there it is. Can you just see that guy? <laughs> He's got the bugle. You basically are going to uh, take your iPhone or your Android and you wave it with that little barcode that by now I'm sure you have in your phone. You wave that over uh, the front of my website at cindydole.com and poof, you're going to have all of the, the past shows there with you at the ready and you can listen to them on the go. So how cool is that? But the only other catch is that I want you to email me and tell me the topics that you love because we try to cover anything and everything under the sun. If it has to do with uh, living at home, we have it. So, But tell us if there's something else that you would like um, to have covered so that we can help you be more inspired and, and get the solutions and, and the ideas that you need. Uh, the number to keep handy is 888-539-2980, 888-539-2980. And a heads up, too, by the way, if you are uh, traveling around next Saturday, I hope you'll come by the L.A. Convention Center. We have a show on the road, Home Wizards, and my pal Eric Stromer is going to be with me, and we're going to be broadcasting from what's known as Dwell on Design. It is is a super cool place where you see a lot of the big brands, the small brands, everything modern in terms of uh, stylish design and innovations. And so we're going to talk about all of it, and hopefully you'll come on down and say hi to us. Uh, the event starts Friday. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but we'll be there uh, Saturday, uh, a little bit before the show, and then, of course, from 2 to 4. So be there, L.A. Convention Center at Dwell on Design. So let's get to uh, my next guest, who is going to help us be really inspired with some fun ideas for Dad, because you know what? It's tomorrow. <laughs> yes, we had to find a little Wayne's World because Wayne is our next guest. Yeah, he's a guy who has written all kinds of how-to solutions uh, on the About.com articles that you see online, Wayne Parker. And uh, he has some ideas for gifts for the do-it-yourself dad, but also maybe the do-it-yourself uh, son or daughter or loved one who wants to do something great for dad. So, Wayne, thanks for sharing part of your world with us today. Hey, thanks very much. Cindy. Good to talk to you. <laughs> so, Tim, so when you think uh, about the 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 whole idea of Father's Day, and first of all, are you a father? I am a father. Yes. So, I'm father. sure. Have you received some dud gifts in the past? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Every father has. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, how many ties? Probably. Oh yeah, lots of ties and cufflinks and you know things that uh, that you wear once in a great while and. Uh, you know, it's always the thought that counts, but some thoughts are better than others. Well, and I think that, I mean, to play devil's advocate, I mean, I think that a lot of us, we kind of get 
strap for ideas because it feels like dad has everything or when he needs something, he'll just buy it himself. You, you bet. It's a really common problem. Father's Day, birthdays, any kind of gift-giving opportunity, we sometimes really struggle with what to do for our dads. Yeah. And then is your dad still living? My dad is still living. And so do you have something spectacular for your dad? <laughs> well, you know, here, actually, um, we, uh, uh, my dad's in his uh, late 70s, and he and my mom are both still alive. Uh. One of the things they love is uh, community theater. Oh, wow. So we, we bought them season tickets to a local community theater this year, and so they'll get six nights out on us, and that will be, uh, that I, I think that'll go over well. We'll find out tomorrow. Oh, isn't that great? Well, that's a nice, that's a gift that keeps giving. It's date night for them, after yeah, all, then, yep. right? Well, so what, it, when you're just tried before we can get to the ideas, when you think of what makes dad smile, I mean, I guess it depends on the personality of the dad, but is there a certain definition or a certain, you know, thing in the stratosphere that we're shooting for? Well, you know, you, you, you make a good point about every dad being a little different, and one of the things we've tried to do on the fatherhood website at about.com is try to identify gift lists for different kinds of dads, dads who travel, dads who love cars, dads who are do-it-yourselfers, um, dads who love gadgets. Uh, so, again, I think number one is trying to identify what is the most the thing that's going to matter most to a dad. Mm -hmm. um, in general, though, I, at least my experience is that dads love things that connect them with their family. Um, and and that, you know, it doesn't matter whether dad's a stay-at-home dad or a dad in a nuclear family or a divorced dad or whatever, you know, whatever role they might play. Finding a way to connect them with their children and their family is really important. And so a lot of the things that we've suggested for dads uh, tend to be more in that vein. It's finding creative ways to spend time, make memories, um, you know, create opportunities like those. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be expensive. It really is about the heart. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, but tomorrow is it's coming pretty quickly. So hopefully if, uh, if those of us who ran out of time because we are so busy, but we, we didn't forget, but we're just, you know, we're struggling and we want to get it together before tomorrow. Hopefully there's some ideas that we can implement right away. Uh, uh, you bet. Yeah. So let's talk about, well, what about the dad who travels? Well, the dad who travels, um, you know, is uh, is kind of a special animal. Uh, he uh, likes to try to stay in touch away from home, and so uh, so things like, um, you know, a uh, you know a tablet that has a camera built into the front so you can Skype uh, when you're away from home is always a nice gift, a little pricey, but uh, but that's a, a good choice. A little digital camera where uh, dad can take some pictures of the places he's been and come home and share it with the family. Um, you know, but again, it could be something as simple as a good travel alarm clock or a, a little, uh, you know, one of those little horseshoe-shaped pillows that you can use on the airplane. Mm. Um, you know, anything that would, again, bring a little bit of the creature comfort to Dad when he's away from home and missing the family. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the sports enthusiast that feels and seems like it should be so easy, but at the same time, it's almost like, well, if everyone knows that the dad, you know, loves baseball or loves football, that he's just like over, you know, overkill. He's got everything in that category. Yeah. Yeah, you know, one of the things that we found for uh, for sports enthusiast ads uh, is uh, is some memorabilia. Uh, you know, there are great shops all over, and there are great places online if you had a little more time to order, where you can get a you know an autographed baseball or a hockey puck that was used in the Olympics, or you know something that's kind of unique and kind of clever, something he would put on his desk or set up on his uh, on his dresser or somewhere and display proudly uh, that connects him with his with his favorite sport. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's often easy. Um, we've seen one of the things that have been really popular on our site has been uh, stadium miniatures, and there you can find them uh, online quite frequently. But you know, if he's a big baseball fan, you can get a little miniature of Yankee Stadium uh, or Shea Stadium or you know wherever the wherever he uh, his team likes to play and. Uh, so there are lots of lots of really creative ideas you can find. All right. Well, hold your breath because we have uh, more time. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, uh, more great ideas uh, for Dad. We're talking uh, with About.coms. Uh, Wayne is with us, and we're going to get some more ideas in terms of not only uh, the things for the traveling dad or the sports enthusiast dad, but how about the do-it-yourself dad and the gadget dad. Uh, don't you go away home, Wizards. Cindy Dole, and this is KFWB News Talk 980. Dog, 
Welcome back. Cindy Dole here. You're listening to Home Wizards here every Saturday from 2 to 4. And uh, maybe your dad is a fix-it man. Or maybe not. But either way, we want to give him some tribute because tomorrow is Father's Day. So with me is Wayne Parker, who writes all about it for About.com. All kinds of very neat ideas to get us beyond, you know, that kind of box mentality, the stereotypical, you know, tie thing. So, Wayne, thanks for, for sharing part of your Saturday with us. You bet. You got it. So, all right, we talked about the dad who likes a little bit of a... A little bit of sports, maybe a little bit of a travel. How about the the dad who likes cars? Well, dads who love cars uh, tend to really love them, and so uh, things like a uh, wash and wax kit uh, is always welcome. Um, you know, any kind of uh, you know maybe some sporty sunglasses. Um, you know, just something that uh, that that dad can use on his car, in his car, with his car. Um, you know, we've. Uh, at least the dads I know who are in love with their cars uh, appreciate anything that uh, comes in a gift that can be can be used in or around the car. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could even get one of those cute little miniature cars, you know, to... to... Absolutely, yep. Yep, little model cars. Uh-huh. Are great and, Very fun. Um, yep. How about the gadget dad? Well, you know, there are lots of dads who love gadgets, and, uh, you know, and, and we've, uh, we've looked at some really fun ones. Um, for example, I don't know if you remember... Uh, uh, at least when I was a kid, we used to have these little things that they they were made of little tiny pins, and you'd put your hand on it and then turn it over, and it would make the pin outline of oh, your sure. hand. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. You know, um, or anyway, your face. We found recently an alarm clock that uses the same principle, uh, digital alarm clock, and when it changes, pins come out and pins go in uh, to create the new time, and it's very, very oh, cool. Oh, that is and, interesting. Uh, and if, if your dad was one of those who really liked that little thing when he was a kid, this is sort of the... Uh, 21st century model. Yeah, a little nostalgia. Uh, yeah, and so some of those uh, kinds of things are fun. Anything that would be, he would look at and say, mm-hmm. how does that work, mm-hmm. uh, you know, would be great for a gadget-loving dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what about the fix-it man or the do-it-yourself dad? I mean, it seems like, you know, gosh, tools are so obvious, but is there something a little more creative or a really cool tool that's on your radar screen? Sure, yeah, there are some, uh, there are some great tools. And again, it's kind of anything that dad doesn't have but would like um you know a uh, little radial saw uh you know as a great little gift and very handy um i'll tell you one of the things though that we've heard from a lot of our do-it-yourself dads is you know there are a lot of magazines uh like family handyman for example or others that uh, you know a, a year's magazine subscription oh. to something like that that gives him new ideas every month uh-huh. uh you know as it comes in the mail can uh, you know can really be a lot of fun and it's affordable you know yeah, it's affordable it's only you know twenty dollars or so uh-huh. So it's uh, certainly within you know within the realm for most of us, and would give something again that kind of gift that gives on keeps on giving during the year. You know what I would give? I'm, unfortunately, my dad's not living, but what I would do if he were, in terms of the for the do it yourself or fix it man, dad is uh, a certificate where you, as the daughter or son, are promising to donate your time to help them with that do it yourself project. You know that that's a great idea. Um, you know, one of the things we found uh, as we talk about some of the gifts that really come more from the heart is the idea of coupon books, mm-hmm. uh, and that's, that would be a great coupon in a coupon book among yeah. you know, many other ideas. You could probably bring, you know, print them out from the, there's got to be a website, and make your own yeah. coupon yeah, we, book. We actually have some on our website as well where you can, uh, where you can just print them out. And uh-huh. They include things like uh, you know, a, something as simple as a foot rub or a, you know, a, uh, uh, a day away with Dad or a walk in the park or uh, you know, cleaning, out, cleaning out and washing the car. Uh, just little gifts of service that uh, that can be given, and again, those are um, particularly ones where dad gets to spend time with the child. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I think are are the most meaningful of all. How about the cook dad? Because again, it, you know, it's almost stereotypical that dad does all the grilling, but beyond that, there, you know, dads are uh, incredible in the kitchen, and a lot of men love to be the star of the show. You know, whipping up dinner, and so what would you think would be kind of fun and innovative to give dads yeah. like that? Oh, gee, there's lots of. St- things. Uh, one of the gifts I got a couple of years ago that I really loved from my little grandchildren was an apron uh, that I could use to barbecue with and so on, but it had, they'd, uh, you know, kind of trace their hands with fabric paint and then, you know, said, hands down, our grandpa's the greatest uh, kind of thing. And so, you That's know, cute. A, a little handmade apron is a great idea. Um, you know, a meat timer uh, is a great thing if your dad cooks out a lot just to ensure that you know, without having to cut a piece of uh, meat open, that the meat's done all the way through. So meat thermometers are good. Mm-hmm. Um, any kind of grilling tools. 
Um, they make now a, uh, one of the things I saw recently was a, a steam cleaner for a grill that you fill up with water and plug into the wall and it cleans the, you know, cleans the gunk off the grill with, the, with steam. Uh, so there are just lots of great little things out there for dads who love to cook out. When you mentioned that hands down, you know, kind of a, a personalization of uh, the apron uh, that was given, I, th- I think there's a lot of artsy craftsy things that you could do. And even at this late moment, you know, whether it's Michael's or Joanne's Fabrics or wherever, and then get, have you ever worked with chalk paint and you get that chalk paint and you can paint anything and then you, with chalk, boom, I love dad, you know, whatever yep. it is, whether it's a mug or, you know, you name it. Yeah, yeah, those are those are great ideas. Um, the little foam shapes you can buy. Um, we actually have one of our guides on about.com has a little pattern for a mouse pad for dad that uh, you just use the little foam pieces and create some creative shapes and colors, and then you can put a photograph on the inside. And mm-hmm. so dad's got a little family picture with a you know a craft made mouse pad. Uh, so again, just little things. Uh, again, a very quick trip to as you say a craft store. Come back with some. Uh, some uh, materials and come up with something really creative for dad for tomorrow. You know what else I think I would do for my dad uh, in this web world is uh, how about uh, computer organization? Yes, absolutely. Where someone's going to come and organize all your emails. (laughs) The gift of time. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. That's a great thing. Yeah. Give dad a little catch-up time. Yeah. Or how about for dad, who is the gardener? I mean, a lot of dads love to to get out there and work on the weeds and come up with some great uh, veggie planting ideas. I mean, is there anything cool that's new that you've seen that would be uh, just very macho and hip for dad? You know, um, there's uh, one of the things that uh, we've seen grow in popularity recently, especially in urban areas, is something called square foot gardening, uh, where you can actually uh, grow vegetables in just square foot containers mm-hmm. uh, with a certain soil mix. And again, most of those are available at a, you know, at a, a nursery or a place like that. Building a little square foot garden, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that just uh, just takes some two by sixes and a little potting soil and. Uh, and uh, could could grow something right on the you know on the deck or in the window box. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, any kind of you know great gardening books are out there that give uh, specific suggestions. And the local uh, usually state the university extension services will have a lot of great ideas for plants and materials that can be planted right in your own zone. Um, and so you have a much higher success rate than if you just run to the nursery and pick out the closest thing you you're interested in how about the entertainment dad the dad who collects you know certain movies or tv series and just you know you bet yeah absolutely there are some great ones out there um you know there are a great uh, a lot of great movies that really have dads as a theme uh we had a a daughter get married about three weeks ago and we enjoyed watching the father of the bride oh yeah uh together as a family and so there are uh, you know, kind of for events that are happening in your life, or you know, if you're a single dad, something as simple as Finding Nemo can be just a really fun uh, movie to add to the collection. And so, again, just uh, just you know, something that again tries to target what dad uh, seems to love most. Yeah, to make him smile. And so we can we can get more of these ideas to, by going to about.com. And how do we find you, Wayne Parker? Yep, uh, you can find me at fatherhood.about.com. And uh, we've got links on the homepage there to a lot of great gift ideas and craft ideas and things all about Father's Day this week. All right. Well, you have a good Father's Day, and uh, we thank you for your time and look forward to talking to you again. All right? You got it. Wayne Parker at at About.com. Very fun ideas. I love it. Well, up next, as we continue our tribute to Dad, you're going to love, whether you're a dad or you're not, you're going to love this because we all have those things that break down in our house. And this is a website. Uh, that's going to help you feel so empowered because not only are you going to learn how to fix it, but you're going to get the parts to do it. It's so cool. Home Wizard, Cindy Dole, and we're back in just a flash. I need to help. I need-